Okay, this is a quick, quick rant, and this is so left field to what I usually talk about. Well, not really, because I'm now reviewing movies, but I'm not reacting to this trailer. I'm not, I already watched it, and so the reaction wouldn't have been genuine anyway, mm -hmm. but I have to talk about it. What's going on? Really, though, what, what's going on over there at Marvel? What is Sony, Marvel, who, both? What's, what's, what's really going on? I saw this trailer for Madam Web. Bro, it's like it's at the point where they're not even trying anymore. And it's nothing to do with women, men. It is nothing to do with that. First off, let me say this. I had no idea Madam Web was his own movie. I thought she was going to be, when they was talking about Madam Web, I thought she was going to be in the next Spider-Man movie. You know, like how the cartoon was where they showed her on the seat looking like a boss handling her business. I thought it was like that. I didn't know it was going to be her own movie. So this uh, today, I saw a thumbnail as soon as I turned on YouTube, and it says Madam Web. At first, I thought it was a fan-made movie. But then it says Sony. I'm like, oh, Madam Web is going to have her own movie? I already had doubts just for that alone. I'm like, okay, maybe Spider-Man's in there or maybe there's something interesting. You know, Madam Web's not really popular unless Spider-Man's in it, you know, and, you know, whatever. So I'm like, okay, don't judge it off the book. Look, let's look at it. I watched that trailer, bro. First off, I, I'm not, uh, all the actors together, they don't even seem like they have good chemistry. And that was just based off the trailer. You know, those comments they made, you know, like you were showing off a little bit. Just just how it was done. You have to see it for yourself. The actors don't look like they have good chemistry. Like, they, it didn't look like they enjoy being there. The acting off the trailer alone. I know it was a two and a half minute trailer, something like that. Just the, oh, like, it, it seemed very staged. Not well acted already. The plot. Oh, What? That's okay. It's very bland. Uh, this should I spoil? Well, it's a trailer. There's this a uh, like evil spider guy. I forgot the name, but his suit looked like something off of Power Rangers. Actually, it would be an insult to Power Rangers. But you know what I mean when I say that. This really looks like a CW project with the lowest budget. At least there's some. There's a few projects in CW, and it's very few. A few privacy is in uh, CW that's actually good. This looks like the lowest budget ever. With uh, it, it, it was just terrible. I'm stumbling with my words, and it just it frustrated me because anybody who knows me knows I'm a huge superhero fan. I love the fact that superhero movies was on the rise. I, I did, I supported everything. It was like going to see a superhero movie is like an event. As a person who read so many comics, still have collecting a collection of comics. I mean, I'm a more of a DC fan, but I read a lot of Marvel, too. Spider-Man's one of them. Uh, Wolverine's my favorite in Daredevil, but still. Uh, it hurts to see where these superhero movies are going. Entertainment has now turned to a political agenda, uh, you know, one versus the other, man versus woman, woman versus man, where I don't understand that. I never did. How about we all just come together? You know, I don't... This whole... Put these women on the stand and make men look stupid like Love and Thunder did and other ones. Uh, half made projects, meaning you could tell from the script and how it looks. The CGI is getting worse. How are we at 2023 and the CGI is getting worse in projects? It's just, it just, oh man, it, it, it's been very tiring. And I ain't going to front, y'all. So my friend was right. After Endgame... A lot of the Marvel was on a downhill. Yes, there was uh, the, the Spider-Man movie. But let's be real. Most people enjoyed the Spider-Man movie because of the cameos of Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and the villains. Let's be real. Because the plot, if you think about it, the plot was very stupid. you telling me after everything that Spider-Man went through, he made that decision? Think about that. Really think, like, before you end, just think about the plot. The plot was dumb. The movie was still great. For someone, for a lot of us, because of Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Goblin. I mean, he was amazing. The fact that he still, he was, he was still taking the show. Like it was him. He stole the show, in my opinion, just like he did Spider Man One, Doctor Octopus, etc. You know that was great. But and there's a few projects like Loki that did well. It was so much. With shows and movies where it's like, what are y'all doing, bro? What are y'all doing? 
like a lot of pandering to people who don't even want to be pandered to. You know, that was the funny part. Like, <laughs> you, you pander to the black community, and then black people are like, I didn't want that. I'd rather you just make a great movie or show. And if my skin tone happens to be in there, then cool. If not, it's still cool. Make a good movie. Pander into the LGBTQ community, and they're, they, they don't want it. You know, to the fact where I told someone this, uh, what's that movie? Eternals? What's the one Angela Jolie? I think it's Eternals. The, the, uh, the, uh, the guy who was the, the gay couple, uh, you know, the one who was gay. I forgot his name. He was in Bullet Train, too. Great actor. Uh, I told someone, I was like, you know what's funny? They don't talk about what his powers are at all. They talk about, hey, look, look, we got him. Uh, he's married to a man. Our first gay couple. It's like, we don't care. If they're married, they're married. Okay, what's the, what's his powers? It's a superhero movie. I want to be entertained. That's not entertaining to be telling me what someone's skin tone is, what their beliefs are, and who they like. I don't care. That stuff's been in movies way before I was born. People act like it's a new thing. It's not a new thing. Black people been in movies for a long time before I was born. Gay people been in movies before I was born. All these belief systems has been... I, I'm not... I'm here to be entertained, to be escape. That's what I'm here for. Uh, that's all I want. And Marvel, after... Well, it showed a little bit before Endgame, but after Endgame, it's like they just flooded with that stuff and then also flooding with half work. And like the projects are not given much love as they used to, and am I saying every movie in Marvel was great before at before in game? No, but you can see the effort, and then they made up and did better the next time. It seems like now after Endgame, it's like one after the other after the other. Oh look, there's a good one. Okay, now one after the other after the other after. Oh, there's a little good one, and that's 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 terrible. I love Kang, and the way they did Kang is terrible. You telling me a man who took out the Avengers lost against someone who had, controls ants, who talks to ants? And, you know, it's not even just that was the big problem. It was, it's a lot in that movie, but that was my biggest gripe of that, my biggest issue. They they, they treated Kane wrong. I think Jonathan Majors is great as Kane. Like, I don't understand this whole, you know, thing. I, I hope he comes back as Kane. I heard they might change it for Doctor Doom. I don't know what they're doing with that. I, I personally, I think Jonathan Major was great as Kane. He wasn't the problem. And I never want to go at the actors. I'm not going at the actors at all. They have a job to do. They do whatever the script says. But these higher-ups, I don't know what, why are you losing the, sorry, the plane flying, by, but I don't know why you're losing the agenda of entertain the fans. Don't exclude the fans. Don't call them names because they might not believe everything you're doing. Don't do any of that. Just do your job and make a su great superhero movie, great story, whatever. That's it. That, that's all you're supposed to do. And when I see stuff like Madam Webb, even though I've seen this plenty of times, but this is just a straight on insult. When I see this, I'm like, y'all really taking us fans for granted. And it's frustrating the heck out of me. It really is. That's how much I care for the super. I haven't seen a movie in a long time. And I don't, I don't, like I said, ever since Endgame, what else I saw? Oh, after Love and Thunder, I gave up on Marvel. That was the one of my biggest insults. I think I said it before, but I my favorite character art in the MCU was Thor's. Thor's. To see what he went through, and then to see Ragnarok, and everything he went through with there, he lost his father, with he Asgard, all that stuff. His eye, he had to battle with all this stuff he was dealing with. On top of everything that happened before, you know, and then to rescue as much as you can of Asgard. To now you see the ending and you see Thanos' ship, which then leads to Infinity War, which you saw what Thanos did to that ship with Thor in there. The see what Thor told Rocket when he was sitting there by himself. You saw like his like everything went through. You felt for him and you wanted to see that redeeming arc. That's why when he threw the axe at Thanos and then told you, uh, he said, "I told you you died today," and he did that. Just that whole situation. Then in Endgame, you felt his pain and you saw the growth of a character. To, a character of excuse me you saw his growth as well the good and the bad and then you see love and thunder it seemed like they just erased everything of his character art made him this j absolute joke he can't fly now you know and th that's not really the biggest problem but he was absolute joke yes he has some comedic parts but this was ridiculous it was ridiculous and some people are saying they're doing it because they wanted to highlight more of the late i don't even know don't know don't care what the reason is you know, that could be true. Disney has a habit of pandering instead of just making good content. And if the person happens to be black or gay, then they just happen to be in there. 
because I have no problem with well, obviously I don't have a problem. You know, I'm black. I don't have a problem with anybody. You know, I just hate when you're trying to cater. Like, oh, Black Panther caters to me. No, it does not. I'm there to see the superhero. You know, <laughs> it's just it, it, I know he's black. I mean, he's been black. And I'll tell you one thing: Marvel irritated the mess out of me, and I almost didn't see Black Panther when it was articles. I'm not gonna say it was uh, maybe it was Disney that said it, but it was a while ago. But allegedly, I'll say allegedly, Disney was saying the first black superhero. Don't insult Wesley Snipes. Don't do that. Blade is legendary. Don't say that. The first black whoever said that that was that was an insult, and that frustrated me because you saw where they do. First off, let's be honest here. A lot of Hollywood is pandering for money. They don't really care about your looks, uh, who you like, what your beliefs are. They do it for money. So if anything's going to give them more money, they're going to pander to it and act like they like you. Most of them don't. Most of them don't. That's like the Spider-Man 2 game. As much as I like the game, I hated the hypocrisy, how you can have gay representation. And we're like, we're all about, you know, freedom and or uh, what's the uh, love is love, all this other stuff. Paid, uh, cater, uh, cater it to the rainbow flag, right? And then you hear the news that in, uh, what was it, China somewhere? They have copies that erase all of it. No, uh, that side mission where there's two gay guys, that that's erased, no flag. So it's like, you see what I'm saying? It's hypocrisy. They don't really care. They care about the dollar sign. And it's start, like, that, that's the thing. And the funny thing is, if you really go to the streets and you talk to people, you can, they know it. They like, yo, I, this gay, this, the two gay couples, the gay guys was saying, um, you know, Disney's getting on their last nerve. One, because they really don't care. Two, I don't want to be put in my face, look, I got you in my movie. I got you in my game. That's ridiculous. I don't want that. I, I, nobody, like, who wants that? Besides maybe some Twitter finger people. I don't know. I'm just, you know, there's the small percentage that want that. Majority don't. And that's why sales are dropping in a lot of things. Not just movies, but a lot of things. We, we're tired of being pandered to. We want an escape after the long day we had. Like I said, superheroes was meant to be entertained. It was enjoyable Friday nights, Thursday night, whatever time, Tuesdays on the $5 movies or whatever. It was an adventure to go see a two and a half hour movie or whatever, how long it was, get a ticket, get the popcorn, whatever you get and enjoy the movie. Now it's, I'm sitting there like, please let the movie be good. I'm telling you, I, I'm a, I used to be a big movie person. I haven't in a long time, in a, in a while. And I, I do now what I, I realize that, uh, well, I've changed my genres of movies that I've seen lately. At first, I was always seeing superhero. Well, I was see, I'll, I'll take that back. I always, I watched other movies too. Like, I'm a movie person. But I love superheroes. But now it's just, I barely watch a superhero movie. Uh, and I've been watching more horror. It seems like horror movies have been putting more effort you know, in their stuff than anybody, you know, and that's a shout out to them. I love it. But, you know, I've been watching horror movies uh, lately and they've been really good and they have black, they have gay, they have all these different beliefs, but they're not throwing it in your face. It's, it is what it is, you know, that's and, and so, and they're not insulting you if you have a different belief than they do, you know, just agree to disagree. You don't like that. This is it. Okay. We do. You can like it or not like it. I still love you. You know, well, it seems like with Disney stuff, they got to call you all these names because they don't like what they're doing. It's just, it's ridiculous. And seeing, and now it's at the point where just throw a project and just throw it out there. Waste this money. Waste our time. And it's, it's getting ridiculous. I got really insulted watching that trailer as a superhero fan. As a, I thought Madam Webb was going to be in Spider-Man. And the thing is, if you want to make her own movie, fine. But put effort into it. That, there's no way that, no, no. Look at the trailer yourself. Look at yourself. They didn't even care. I don't, I mean, who? They got, what's her name from Euphoria? She's in there. You know, and again, I'm not going at that. The actors and actresses, they're they, 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 they trying to get their job. That's their job as the act. I ain't looking at them. But it's crazy how whoever is direct, they, they have no chemistry. Did you put the actresses together, let them get to know each other and grow some chemistry or do you just throw them in the pile and set action? That's what it looked like. It looks like they don't even have good chemistry with each other. The plot looks okay. The, spe the, 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 I mean, it just looks cheap. And then they showed this little scene where the girls like had these, like it's two, it's like a few different spider ladies. I, and don't, I'm, I ain't going to front y'all. 
I think we're being tricked to think that they're actually going to do something in the movie. That could be a dream sequence. It looked like a dream sequence. Because imagine that. Imagine that. You think, oh, we're getting Spider-Woman and all this stuff, right? And uh, then you watch the movie. It was a dream sequence. It was kind of like being fooled by Kangaroo Jack way back. But I don't know if you remember that. Kangaroo Jack, I always remember that was one thing. They fooled us. You know, when they had the kangaroo talking, doing the hip-hop song and all that. Then you see the movie and found out that it was a dream. And that Kangaroo Jack was never a talking kangaroo. That's what this looks like. It's like we're going to see more of this, of her having a That's So Raven moment. And that's, you know, this bad Spider-Man person that looks terrible. It's, I will give credit to this. At least Craven looks good. I'm looking forward to Craven, But let me tell you something. It seems like... I ain't going to front. It's not even the fact his name was Craven. It's the fact that that movie looks like uh, a good movie outside of the, the Spider-Man character's name. Now, I don't know who's d directing that one. Like I said, and I said this already, it seems like you got to have you have to deal with so much trash to get a couple good ones or just one good one. I, I feel bad for the people who made Loki season two. It did well. I believe it could have done better if Marvel didn't have such a terrible resume. If Marvel didn't have such a terrible resume, I think Loki, it deserves to be better. Loki is actually good. You know, great ending for the character. It was good. But I believe it would have more viewership and more traction um, if Marvel didn't have such a bad... <sighs> oh, man, I went further than I wanted to. I was glad I got that out, though. And DC, I know it's under the new management of James Gunn. Don't mess it up. Don't. I love the fact that the guy who does, who, I forgot, what's his name? He does The Batman with Robert Pattinson. He said, I'm doing my thing. And you see him take his time. He does, ain't trying to push a date, a date early or nothing like that. He takes his time. That's what you need to do. If you need to take some time, do that. Stop. This whole quantity over quality is getting ridiculous. You know, if you can do both, cool. But obviously you've shown you can't do both. And you have to just have this mindset of we're here to entertain. Period. There's no way you they watch this trailer and it's like, oh, that is so good. There's no way. There's no way. This was an insult to superhero fans and people who pay for movies. I always say, I mean, I, I agree to this. I said this to someone. Yes, streaming is sort of destroying the theater ticket sales and all that stuff because I love going to a theater. And I agree to a certain extent that streaming is kind of messing that up because people can just buy and sit at home. But most of it, in my opinion, is the product that you get. When you pay $20 or $40 at a theater and get this, you're not going to want to come back. You don't want to give them another chance. After Love and Thunder, I was, I, I was not comfortable with giving another chance. I wasn't. Uh-uh. Nah, bro. You messed up one of my favorite superhero character arts at the MCU, and you expect me to trust you again? You know, thank God... Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was good. You know, I had to find that out a little later, but I mean, at least it was good. But then I found out had it was made. Uh, I heard uh, if this is true, and I let me know. But I heard it was made before Endgame or something like that, like or like around that time zone before it started. Marvel started getting worse, and they just delayed the movie. So that would make sense because you see Guardians of the Galaxy three, you like, wait a minute, like this is actually good. Where's, where's this kind of effort? But then we hear the story of when it actually was made. It's like, huh, that, if that's true, that makes sense. But let me know what y'all, this stuff uh, uh, frustrates me, man. I'm a movie person. And, you know, I'm, I'm about to see uh, Thanksgiving this week. Uh, that looks good. It's a scary movie. And, yeah, it's, goodness gracious. The panda is not working, Disney, Sony. The half work is being noticed. You know, I mean, shout out to the people who made South Park <laughs> because, hey, they get mad all they want. That's kind of true. That, I mean, hey, kind of true. It is true. But did you get it? I ain't going to say, oh, you have to see it for yourself. But if you know, you know. And that's the thing. I'm tired of this man versus woman thing. No, we can stop that. Like, we have to put men better than women, women better than men. We can stop both sides. You know, there's been great men superheroes. There's been great women superheroes. You know, but the good thing that one thing that also made them really great was it wasn't thrown in our face. Look, y'all, we got a great male superhero. Look, y'all, we got a great uh, female superhero. No, 
Scarlett Johansson came in as Black Widow and just did her thing. She didn't need to, oh, first, I'm the first woman, or the woman, this, or uh, Zoe Zaldana as Gamora. She didn't have to do all that. You know, Tony, uh, Robert Downey Jr. had to come in and be like, oh, look, uh, I'm the male figure covering MCU. He didn't do all that. They just are. And they're, gr you know, they're actors. They're directed right. They're putting effort. You know, it, it's... <sighs> okay, I'm glad I got that out of my system. It's been 20 minutes. Okay, it ain't been that long. Love y'all. Let me know what you think. What I said, it was more of a rant. I was going to call it the Madam Web rant. What's going on with Hollywood? You know, I guess something like that. But this is ridiculous. This is a product. And I don't want to hear that, you know, people won't go to theaters, period, even with half work or full work. I mean, people won't go to theaters no more, even if you do put a lot of effort. That is not true. If you saw what happened with Barbie, Oppenheimer, and Five, Night, mm, Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's, because of the fan base, you know, but I'm pretty sure, I, I'm not, I've never played Five Nights at Freddy's, but it did very well. All I'm saying is people will go to a theater, but you got to let them know, you got to show them that they can trust you for the next film. People are not just going to throw money out here. People working hard for their money. Don't matter how much you make. You know, you can be a millionaire. It's still your money. You don't want to waste it. You know, so you got to show them. And Barbie, Oppenheimer, Five Dice of Freddy, there's some other ones. And you realize none of them are Marvels or none of them are superheroes. You know, but The Boys, even though it's a TV show, the, they showed that if you put effort into it, you because it ain't. I hate this notion that superhero stuff is dead, it, it's dying. No, 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 no. The, the way that Marvel's doing it is dying. No, if you do it right, it, it, it still would be amazing. It would be top tier. We'll have Kane doing something amazing right now in the Marvel Universe. But no, so I, no, the boys show that it's not dead, even though it's a mature version. But still, you know, if you put effort into it, people will go see it. It's been proven. So anyway, thank y'all so much. I'm thirsty. I gotta get something to drink. I'll <laughs> talk to y'all later.